Hello everybody, all of you know about measures of central tendency. Measures of central tendency are the summary description of scores of data, whereas measures of variability measures the spread or dispersion of scores. If the scores vary, there will be a dispersion. If values of a variable are not the same, then there will there exist a difference and variability will be there. For example, if we are doing a survey and we are giving a rating scale of 1 to 7, then all the students if they use from 3 to 5, then there will be a low variability. But if most of the students they use from the rating scale from 1 to 7, then there will be high variability. See the diagram. First diagram relates to the low variability, whereas the second diagram relates to the high variability. Variance is the central concept of all statistical theory. In statistics, when we are collecting the data, the score we are getting is called the raw scores. But after getting the raw scores, we will take the mean and how much the mean deviates from E score is called the deviation score. Deviation score is called the lower case of Greek letter x, small x, the raw score is called the capital X. When the when we are taking the deviation score, the small x is called the deviation score. The score above the mean is called the positive scores and the score below the mean is called the negative score. As we have already discussed, we have to subtract the mean from the raw score and it is called the deviation score. In this diagram, you will say, see unequal means, but equal variability, but the second diagram you will see same mean, but unequal variability. Measures of variability is a key structure of statistics and all types of inference statistics depends on these measures of variability. Mainly if we take into account we are using different types of measures of variability, but today we will discuss about two types of variability. One is range, another one is standard deviation. Range is the crude measures of variability. It measures the span of distribution. That means, if the highest score is 12 and lowest score is 2, then range will be 11. 12 minus 2 plus 1 that means, 10 plus 1 is 11. Now, we will discuss about variance and standard deviation. The variance is the average of the square difference of E score from the mean. To calculate the variance, the difference between E score and the mean is square and then added together. This sum is then divided by the number of scores. When the square root is taken of the variance, we call this new statistics the standard deviation. In other words, the variance is the square of the standard deviation and standard deviation is the square root of the variance. Unlike range, standard deviation take all the values in the calculation. See the formula for standard deviation, variance and range. The deviation score is a score expressed as its distance from the mean is called a deviation score. The formula is small x equals to x minus m. The following table shows the raw score and their corresponding deviation score. See the table, there are 5 columns in the table. First column represents the scores. The scores are 1, 2, 3, 4. Some total of scores are 10. Second column represents the deviation score that is small x. How will we get the deviation score? If we subtract the mean from the raw score, then it we will get the deviation score. Our mean is 2.5. And if we subtract the mean 2.5 from the raw score, it will be first one will be minus 1.5, second one is minus 0.5, third one is again 0.5, fourth one is 1.5. Third column represents the square of deviation score that is 2.25, The sum total of square deviation score is 5. The fourth column represents the square of raw score. 1, 4, 9, 16. The sum total of square raw score is 30. How to calculate the standard deviation? First step is 
record e score, second step is find the mean, third one is subtract mean from each value of x, fourth one is square each deviation score, fifth one is sum of the value of x square, sixth one is use the, use the formula sum total of x square divided by n root over. If a constant is added or subtracted from the score, then our standard deviation will remain same. But if a constant is multiplied or divided, then we have to multiply the same constant to our standard deviation. Another way to calculate this variance standard deviation is n sum total of x square minus sum total of x whole square divided by n square root over. What does it mean? x square, sum total of x square means the raw score without taking the deviation score, the x square means raw score x 1 square means 1, 2 square means 4, 3 square means 9, 4 square means 16. Without taking the deviation score, we will square it and we will take the sum total, then sum that is called sum total of x square. Then what is sum total of x whole square? 4, 7, 2, 1 that is 10. 10 square means it will be 100 directly without taking the deviation score. If we put directly the score, then we will get the score of the variance and after getting the variance, if we take the root over, then it will be called standard deviation score. Till now, we have discussed about range and also standard deviation. Now, we will discuss what is this range and variability, what is this range and standard deviation, what is the difference between range and standard deviation. Let us calculate the range and standard deviation for the two groups of scores. One score is 60 to 90, one score is 73 to 77. Let us calculate the variability of two groups of students in a class. If we calculate the range, then we know the formula h minus l plus 1, high score minus low score plus 1. Range is as already we have discussed h minus l plus 1. So, our range will be for the first is 77 minus 73 plus 1 is 5. The second score is 90 to 60 that is 90 minus 60 is 30 plus 1 that is 31. Let us calculate the standard deviation now. If you see the table, you will see the first column explains the score that is the raw score 77, 76, 75, 74, 73. The second column describes the deviation score that is 2, 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2. How we got this score deviation score? First, our when we added the sum total of scores, the sum total of scores was 375. 375 divided by 5 is 75. We will subtract the mean from the raw score. The raw score 77 minus 75 is 2. 76 minus 75 is 1. 75 minus 75 is 0. 74 minus 75 is minus 1, 73 minus 75 is minus 2. As I have discussed already that by taking the deviation score always will be 0. If I take minus 2 minus 1 will be 3 and plus 2 plus 1 will be 3. If we do the deviation score always will be 0. So, sum total of the deviation score will always be 0. Now, Coming to the third column, we will find out the deviation square. That is deviation score square means 2 into 2 whole 4, 1 into 1, 1. By taking the sum of deviation score will be 10. Now, we will discuss about the column 4. That is x square. Raw score square is called x square. If we see, it will be capital X. 77 square is 5929, 76 square is 5776. In this way, we will get all the squares of the raw score. The sum total of raw square is 
2.8135. So, now we will discuss about different formula. If we see the screen, we will see the how to calculate the variance. I had already discussed the variance is sum total of x square by n. The sum total of x square is 10 divided by 5, n is 5. Sum total of x square is 10 divided 5, we got the variance 2. Already I had told you standard deviation is nothing but the square root of variance. That means, 2 square root means 1.4 is our standard deviation. This is the one formula. Another formula I told you, another raw formula is there. It will be easy also to calculate. The formula is n sum total of x square minus sum total of x whole square divided by n square root over. In this way, if you see the screen, you will find out n is our number of persons, number of students. 5 into 28135. 28135 is sum total of x square. Then sum total of x whole square means raw, raw square total that is 375 all over square is called 140625. In this way also we can calculate standard deviation and variance that is the same result we will get as I had told you that is one that is 73 to 77, another one is 90 to 60. The same formula we can use for this 90 to 60. By applying this what we will get? That is the formula for 973 to 77, the standard deviation we got is 1.4. But the second score that is 60 to 90, if we see, you can see the same thing, score 90 to 60, second column again deviation score, third column again deviation square score, fourth one is raw square scores. Here our standard deviation is 11.4. Till now, what we have discussed is standard deviation, variance, range, everything what we have discussed is that is on group data. That means, we are taking the raw score and we had calculated, but another group is that is called group data. We have to group the data already in measures of central tendency, you know what is group data. Now, what is the formula for the group data? Please see the screen. Here in group data, first column if you see, then the group data is 60 to 64, 55 to 59, 50 to 54, 45 to 49, 40 to 44. For first frequency for 60 to 64 is 4, second frequency is 5, then 8, then 6, then 5. So, our n is that is number of students are 28. Then after getting the frequency and group data, next column that is third column what we see is x. What does it mean this x? x is the middle point of the score 60 to 64 that is 62, 57, 52, 50 to 54 that middle point is 52, 45 to 49 the middle point is 47. In this way we will get the middle point. This middle point is called the x. After getting that x, our next column that is fourth column is we will get the f x. What does it mean? f x means we will multiply x with our frequency. If we multiply x with our frequency, we will get f x. 62 into 4 is 248, 57 into 5 is 285. In this way, we will get all our f x. Our fifth column that is f x square we will get. How will we get the f x square again? We have to multiply f x into x. f x multiplied by x, we will get f x square. If we multiply 248 into 62, then we will get 15376. If we multiply 285 to 57, we will get 16245. So, seven sixth column I have mentioned 
about the steps for calculation. First of all, multiply each x by its corresponding f to get f x, multiply each f x by x to obtain f x square, sum the value to obtain sum total of f x and sum total of f x square, use the formula to get sum total of x square. See the formula? In order to get sum total of x square, the formula is sum total of f x square minus sum total of f x whole square divided by n. Our sum total of f x square is 75327, sum total of f x whole square is 1441 whole square divided by n is 28. So, after dividing, after using this formula, we will get our S D. The S D for this group data is 6.455. If our S D is 6.455, then S D means standard deviation. If our standard deviation is 6.455, then what will be our variance? Variance is nothing, it is easy. We have to take the square of this 6.455, that is 41.67. See, 41.67 is our variance. If we take the root over, it will be 